Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into the latest Mouth Cancer vlog here on the Gavin Partridge YouTube channel. So it's a couple of days since I last did a video, just wanted to bring it all up to date, you know, how things are progressing. Um, which is very, very well, you know, I can't complain about how things are going, but I'll go on with that for you uh, in a second. Just to say that if you're enjoying the Mouth Can Cancer vlogs on the channel at the moment, finding them interesting, useful and informative, then uh, please can you like, share, subscribe, and thank you so much everybody uh, for being there. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, three weeks, one day, since I had uh, the operation to remove the uh, cancer on the side of my tongue and also to do a uh, selective neck dissection. And uh, the recovery's gone absolutely great. I'm, uh, I'm completely amazed, really, about how well the recovery has gone. As you can hear, I'm speaking better on this video than I did on the last video, but I did, and day by day, there is a progression where you just get slightly better. Um, and uh, I would say my speech is now back to about 85%. And let me know in the comments what you think. I think I'm back to about 85% of how I would normally speak. I'm speaking well enough to do the weather videos now, to be honest. I could restart uh, the weather videos. The only reason that I'm holding off on that is I'm still a little bit tired from the operation. The fatigue hasn't completely gone. It's better than it was like a week ago, but the, the fatigue still hasn't completely gone. I'm still feeling a little bit you know, a little bit under the weather. Um, so it takes a long while to get over such a significant operation, of course. And um, so so that's one of the reasons. The other reason is just that I don't know if I'm going to have a juvenile treatment. Uh, so I might have to have chemotherapy or radiotherapy, you know, if uh, the reason I did the section was to test the glands uh, and see whether there's any sign of cancer within the lymph glands. If there is, then I will have to have a tumor treatment. That would mean that I would probably have to go off for a while and uh, have that, particularly for the radio therapy side thing. But also, you know, uh, if, if chemo was involved as well, because that can make it quite poorly. So no point restarting, you know, the videos and then just having to go off for a, another few weeks um, <laughs> in a month's time. So I'm just holding up until next week. I find out on Thursday, uh, actually, whether I have, uh, where I have to have a human treat. So the appointment will be on uh, 28th of uh, April. Next Thursday uh, is when I will find out. Uh, so that's Judgment Day, you know, that's D-Day. Um, and, uh, and we'll know then exactly where things are going. Whether, whether I just, you know, stop at the operation and then it's a case of watching what's happening, keep an eye on, on the tongue and that, uh, uh, and, you know, uh, and wait and see, uh, or whether, whether more treatment is required. And um, so I'm just holding off, but from a, holding off on the weather video. But, for, you know, from a speech perspective, I could do the weather videos now. I think I am at a level now where I would be, you know, perfectly understandable for everybody when, when, when I'm off camera, going through the charts. Um, and, I, you know, I still sound slightly different, but, but I'm more or less about 80 to 85% back, I think. Just need to go past another 5% more, and then I would definitely, uh, you know, it would definitely be, I'd definitely be at a level where I could do web videos. But I think I'm at that level now, uh, speech-wise, to be honest. So it's amazing, it's, it's absolutely incredible how quickly the tongue can recover. I suppose it's partly because I'm quite young. I'm 44, so, you know, I don't really think, think of myself as young um, these days. But, you know, uh, for this uh, operation, I'm quite young because um, they told me that I'm about half the age of people that I normally see, you know, uh, with uh, with mouth and tongue cancer. So um, uh, that would be one of the reasons why I'm bounced back quite quickly. But the tongue is a very, very, very robust, um, you know, organ, muscle. Uh, it does uh, recover and come back amazingly quickly, uh, you know, it heals quickly, it's got that within its body, it's one of the, um, you know, the cells are one of the most rapidly uh, healing uh, parts of the body, um, not quite to the level of the liver, it doesn't regenerate itself like the liver does, um, but it does heal very, very quickly in the tongue, so, so it has that going for it. Um, and, you know, I've just been pushing myself, as you know, day by day. I've been trying to do more and more and more, speak more, eat more. Um, and, uh, and I think that's another one of the reasons, you know, that, that you've got to have that drive uh, to want to, wanna, you know, really want to push it and, uh, and push yourself. I'm eating pretty much anything that I want, to be honest. Um, I can't be anything that I wouldn't be able to eat uh, now, even more chewier uh, foods such as meat, you know, steak, things like that. I, I it takes me longer 
Uh, definitely, but that's no bad thing because it means that you get to savour the, the flavour a little bit more, uh, of course. But but even like the chewiest foods, such as uh, meat, steak, um, you know, I'm able to, to eat those. Uh, okay, I had a big breakthrough, of course, I'll show you, I had a big breakthrough last Friday when I managed to munch my way through a burger and chips. Look, there it is, that's my burger. <laughs> and, uh, and chips, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, actually, and I tweet about it, I shared the, you know, I shared the, the tweet, the pictures, I should say, of, uh, of my bone chips, it's very, very nice, I put a lot of tomato sauce on, which got, uh, noticed, uh, that was help the, um, you know, help the chips go down, uh, a little bit, it took about 30, 40 minutes to eat that, so, you know, um, uh, a portion of chips, a burger, in the old days, would have took me probably about 15 minutes, it took me double that, uh, probably over double that uh, to, to eat it, and like two glasses of Coke to wash it down. So, yeah, I'm not going to say that there is absolutely no problem with my eating and speaking. Uh, there are still issues, as you expect, being just three weeks from major significant surgery. Um, but to be honest, I can eat what I want. It's been amazing. It's been incredible, the recovery. I've been absolutely outstanding. I give myself a little Spanish omelette. Uh, there's my Spanish omelette. Look, everybody, I give myself a Spanish omelette for my lunch today. Um, which was really, really nice, uh, as well. So, yeah, it's all going absolutely, um, fantastic. Just say about the burger and chips, though, going back to that. I, uh, I say, I tweeted about the picture. I said, someone told me two weeks after operation to remove my tongue cancer, I'll be turning into burger and chips. I'd never have believed it. Hashtag, hashtag, beating cancer, hashtag. No surrender. And um, the messages I got were absolutely incredible. I got some amazing, lovely, lovely comments and messages. Very supportive. You know, 99.99% of people are amazingly supportive. I did get one comment that um, sort of said, basically said that you're not going to recover because you're eating garbage. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, you're not going to recover from your... I don't know whether, whether it was not going to recover from your um, cancer or whether it's not going to recover from your operation. But this is garbage. It's no good for your metabolism. And, and you know, very um, judgmental, really. Very judgmental. And, of course, you do get that a little bit as well when you have cancer. And I'd say 99.99% of people are lovely and kind and supportive and, and spur you on and, and want you to, to do your best, you know, and recover and, and are absolutely amazing. There will that be that tiny, tiny minority that, that are more judgmental, though. And it's, you don't really get it with other illnesses, but you do get it a little bit with cancer. Um, you know, and that could be judgmental in terms of why you've got cancer, you know, with risk factors and causes. It can be judgmental in terms of the treatment that you choose to have, because ultimately the treatment you get for cancer is your decision if you want that treatment, and some people can be judgmental about that, like if you have chemo, some people can be quite judgmental about the fact that you're having chemo, so you should be having it, and so on. Um, but you can be judgmental about your recovery as well, uh, and how, how you come out of the cancer process, you know, the scars that you have, and so on. And, you know, you don't need it when, when you've got uh, cancer. You don't need to be dealing with people's judgments. Uh, particularly judgments of, of people that are ill-informed, you know. So uh, I just want to say that if if you're going through this, uh, not necessarily just for mouth cancer, but for any cancer, uh, really, if you're going through the cancer process, um, don't worry about about the judgments. Uh, but uh, occasionally, it's very you know it doesn't happen very often. I say ninety nine point nine percent of people are lovely, kind, supportive. And want you to do your best, but uh, and spur you on. But if you do encounter someone who's a little bit more judgmental uh, f about your cancer, don't worry. You really you don't need it. You don't want it. You don't want unsolicited uh, judgmental uh, uh, opinions and advice. You know you don't need that. You've got enough to deal with when you're going through cancer. As it is, uh, you know, cancer is a, is, is a life-changing event that happens uh, to you. Even if you recover from cancer, of course, everybody hopes that they will come out of their cancer in full recovery. Most people do as well. 
Um, but even then, you know, it's a life-changing situation. Uh, you will never completely forget that you had cancer. It will always be there at the back of your mind after uh, you've had cancer and, and so on. Um, so if it doesn't overwhelm your life. It doesn't take over your life. But it is a life-changing scenario. And especially when you're going through the treatment process, uh, of course. So, so you don't need the judgments that people uh, can make occasionally. You don't need it. You don't want it. You don't need to worry about it. You know, just try and forget that, that people made those judgments. Uh, that, that, you know, that you've had that judgment uh, made about what you're doing what, and so on. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. Um, yeah, but other, other than that one comment, everybody was amazing. Everybody was incredible when I tweeted my burger and chips picture. Um, and uh, as I said, I'm into pretty much anything that I want at the moment. I am trying to eat a little bit more, actually. And, you know, a little bit more towards the unhealthier side as well, to put on some calories. The reason for that is, uh, as I explained, you know, I'm going to find out next week if I'm having radio therapy. Hopefully not. If I am, though... I will go through a period where um, I'll have like a burn, a sunburn, that will get progressively more and more severe, appearing both uh, uh, externally, you know, around the face and, and, and mouth and uh, neck, but also internally as well, inside the mouth, inside the throat, and, and so on. And um, so with that, you know, it can, uh, it can affect like speech and swallowing. So although the speech is almost back normal now, it might get worse. Um, when I go on to radiotherapy, and uh, and so, you know, it can affect speech, it can affect swallowing, it can constrict your swallowing uh, a little bit. It's all temporary, it will come back after radiotherapy is finished, but for a while, you know, things can get quite nasty when you're on radiotherapy. They can even get to a point where you have to have a feeding tube. And, uh, you know, if you want to avoid that, then I think the best way of, of avoiding a, a tube is, is hopefully put on a little bit of size, get a little bit of extra weight, and you've got that reserve. So if I have to stop, I won't stop eating, but if I have to reduce drastically the amount that I'm able to eat um, for, like, let's say, uh, three weeks, then um, hopefully, you know, I've got enough padding, <laughs> if you like, enough padding in, in, in reserve, you know, to, to be able to... Avoid a tube and uh, and whatnot. But again, if you have to have a thing, you have to have a thing. You, you know, you have to have treatment. You have to have your treatment, as I keep saying. So I am, you know, trying to put on a little bit of weight. You can probably sound a little bit posh here, but if I don't have to have the ratio therapy, then then that can soon come off. You know, I'll just get get my eating back to normal and uh, go on a little bit of a diet. You know, in a month or two's time, and the weight can soon go. But if I do have to have radiotherapy, then I'm putting on a little bit of extra, uh, you know, a few pounds extra, a few extra calories, putting that on, so I've got a little bit in reserve, which I think, I think, you know, in the situation I'm in, is is probably not not a bad idea uh, to be doing that. And I doubt the person, you know, the person that talks about me eating garbage. <laughs> when I share my burger and chips picture, I doubt that person, you know, um, would realise uh, that there is a reason behind, um, aside from that, but I, I wanted it, you know, I like a burger and chips anyway, so I fancied it and I enjoyed it a lot, um, but aside from that, there, there is another reason why somebody in my position would be trying to put on extra calories, and, and if you don't know about mouth cancer, and, you know, you don't know about what can happen when you have radiotherapy, then you wouldn't know that. But then again, why would somebody, somebody be giving unsisted medical advice um, if they don't know? So, so that's what I'm talking about, you know, when people are judgmental and give you advice that you don't want, you don't need. Um, that's, that's what I mean, you know. If, if they don't know the, the ins and outs of your cancer and your specific cancer type and the effects that those treatments will have for your cancer type, then... then um, you know, why are they, why are they sort of uh, commenting, really? Um, but anyway, I just wanted to, to get that on the table. Do not worry about the, uh, about the judgments, you know, that, that you can get when you're in the situation. You have enough to focus on anyway, having cancer. Um, so, so what other people think and the judgments that they make 
are really not worth worrying about. But that said, 99.99% of people are absolutely lovely, you know, and they spur you on. The, the support I have had since my diagnosis, since I went public with my diagnosis, has been unbelievable. It has been absolutely incredible. I want to thank you all so much, once again, for helping me get through this period. Uh, and it does, you know, really does spur you on. It really does spur you on and uh, makes you ever more determined to, 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 to fight and, and to beat cancer. Uh, as I said in my very first video, um, when I announced what's going on, you know, I said we were going to beat cancer, I said we were going to beat cancer's butt, and, uh, and we're doing it, we're, we're doing it, and, and it's down to you uh, for, for giving me that drive and determination to, to, to take this head on and, uh, and to succeed and, uh, and, and come out on the other side. And, and that's what we're doing. And I want to thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. You've been incredible. You've been amazing. You've been wonderful. And my promise to you is that um, I'm going to get through this. Uh, definitely, 100%. I'm determined, but I am. And uh, I know so many of you are waiting like for the return of the weather videos. And, uh, and we're going to get them back. You know, the weather videos are going to come back. Uh, I don't know if they'll be able to come back. If I don't get any treatment, additional treatment, weather videos will come back starting early May, and I'll gradually increase the output through May with a target of, like, everything being more or less back to normal by June. If I need uh, additional treatment, then that will be delayed. So it may not be until, like, September, August, September, that I'm able to begin increasing the output, maybe with, uh, with a, um, a target of getting back to normal by sort of late September, early October, something like that. So we're going to find out, we're going to find out soon now. Not got much longer to wait where things are going uh, next. It's going to be next Thursday. I have my appointment at NGH with Mr. Amorelli. Uh, and then, and then we'll know, you know, we'll know them exactly what, what, what's, what's happening. So I will let everybody know on the Thursday evening what's been decided and, uh, and what we're going to do. Um, so not much longer to wait, but keep your fingers crossed for me, please, everybody. I'll do a couple of vlogs anyway before then, probably. Um, but just keep your fingers crossed. I know you will. I, I know you have been doing it. And I know you, you will continue to do so. Okay, so, um, ladies and gentlemen, cancer vlog, uh, Joe. Just want to update everybody and let you all know that it's all going fine. And uh, the recovery is continuing. Next year, I might show you my tongue. So, you, you, uh, I think I can just about open my mouth wide enough now to get my tongue out far enough for you to be able to see. So, um, you'll be able to see how much tongue they're taking and how the tongue is, uh, is looking perhaps on the next uh, video. We'll see. But uh, for this mouth cancer vlog, that's all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Bye for now.